Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. This is the start of the construction of the upper part of the rocket, which is this part right here. Uh, we're going to start by locating the rings, and they're in part number 32537. There's two rings. Um, this is the old style, and we have changed it recently to this new style that has a couple little uh, cutouts right here. Um, if you have the old style, that's what we're going to use. If you have the new style, um, it'll be a little bit simpler because these little notches are already made. And since we originally did this kit as a die cut, um, those notches weren't in there, but now that we're laser, laser cutting, we're putting them in. Uh, but basically, about halfway on the ring, we're going to cut two little notches. This is going to be just big enough for um, some shot cord to go through. This is how the shot cord is going to be mounted. This is going to be the after ring, so you only need to do this for one of the rings. So you're going to cut a little notch just like that. You have to do it on both sides. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just like that. And then um, pop these out of the sheet. take this and we're going to glue it onto this tube that you'll find in your parts. Um, it's the tube that the capsule fits onto. Um, and it's going to get glued uh, a little less than one quarter of an inch from the end. So first we'll mark it and I'm going to go um, 3 sixteenths right there. And I want to draw a line around to just make sure that it's perfectly perpendicular all the way around and not tilted at an angle. So I'll just take a paper clasp and my aluminum angle. And this allows me to butt it up against there and to rotate it. Uh, and then I can take my pencil and I can do this upside down. So here's my mark. Right there. Hold the pencil still and just rotate it around. Nope, I'm not getting a mark. Okay, you can see the line around there. And then we want to glue the one with the notches um, just along that mark, just on the on the opposite side of the mark, like there. like that. Now we want to make sure that we don't plug those little holes, the little tabs that we just made. So we'll stick something through there that's nice and sharp like this. Um, and then we want to put also a fill of glue on there. Okay, 
just like that. And do the same with the fillet of glue on the back side. Again, just double check those holes that you can still get your shock cord through there. And you'll find your shock cord, and this is the, the thin string like this. Um, on this, we want a piece that's 18 inches long. We'll go ahead and cut this now. And it's uh, so about 18 inches long. What I do is just fold it over itself like that. Take a knife and just do a sawing action back and forth until it snaps. And then I want to take some glue and just put a little on that end, on both ends, to just kind of uh, keep the ends from fraying. It's a little easier to work with when it's a little bit stiffer.